entering the Earth's atmosphere. So this is a view from the recovery ship itself of Crew Dragon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Of course, we still do not have communication with them because you can see that plasma buildup as they are uh, coming through the atmosphere, that heat shield doing all of the work to ablate that heat um, as it builds up around the capsule. So um, again, as we mentioned, you see the movements here. That's the ship camera moving uh, and continuing to track the spacecraft during re-entry. We anticipate uh, reacquisition of signal in just a couple of minutes from now. As Kate mentioned, it can it can vary uh, on when we get that timing. But great to already have a view of our four astronauts or three astronauts and one cosmonaut inside as they are headed home. There will also be a couple of sonic booms during that time frame. Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. As I mentioned, the SpaceX core. SpaceX Dragon, we have you loud and clear. We have you the same. Good to have you back. Expect automated chute deployment. Dragon copy. You know, it's incredible to know that the voice we're hearing is coming from that wow. gorgeous ball of light. <laughs> And all of the other little points of light you see around it, they appear to be um, streaking on the camera a little bit. Those are stars. Uh, obviously, that beautiful bright light in the middle. That's Crew Dragon Endurance coming home after 157 days in space. We are standing by for Drogue Parachute deployment. That'll be in about two minutes, but we already do have acquisition of signal. That came, again, a little bit earlier than we expected. So That's right. it, it is did. a little hard to target sometimes. GPS has converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue chute deploy. Dragon copy. Again, that point of light in the center of your screen, that is Dragon Endurance, another uh, a different view. This one, infrared, coming from uh, the recovery ship. As we were mentioning, all of those uh, team members that are ready to recover the astronauts are on the ship. They're in position. It'll take just a little bit for them to move in toward the capsule once it lands, but uh, they all have a very important and distinct role to play, either retrieving the capsule or um, helping the astronauts egress and uh, they are all standing by. At this point in time, Dragon Endurance is about to deploy the drogue parachutes. Um, those automatically deploy about around the 18,000 foot mark, um, and the capsule's going about 350 miles per hour. Brace for drogue window. Dragon brace. So just a call out there to let the crew know that they are approaching that window where the drogue parachutes will automatically deploy. And just prior to the deployment, um, Dragon automatically safes the propulsion system and then deploys the parachutes to stabilize and help decelerate the spacecraft. So like we said, we're getting ready for uh, those uh, drogue parachutes to deploy on Dragon. That occurs automatically when it's about 18,000 feet above the um, ocean surface. And the capsule is going roughly 350 miles per hour. Um, in that view before, there was a difference. And uh, here we can see um, it's no longer quite streaking like it was just moments ago, or minutes ago, I should say. Um, like I said before, it looks like those drogue deploys are now, yep. We got visual on two healthy drogues. Dragon copy. As you can see with that infrared view, we have two healthy drogue parachutes on Dragon. There's a view from Dragon looking up at the drogue chutes. Those will uh, remain attached to the spacecraft until they help deploy the main parachutes coming up in just a few moments. Again, these views coming to us from the recovery ship standing by to recover our crew members once they splash down. Looks like we... Uh,
It looks like we have main parachute deployment there. Main chute descent rate nominal. Dragon copy, 1,000 meters. A beautiful. Copy, 1,000. Beautiful view there from that recovery vessel um, of Dragon Endurance with those four healthy main parachutes. At this point in time, the capsule's going about 119, or was going about 119 miles per hour when those were deployed, uh, and they also deployed about 6,500 feet. So these main parachutes will help slow the vehicle down even further to about- 800 meters. Copy, 800. Uh, so that we'll hear from the crew um, about how far they are above the surface of the water. Um, so there we just heard that call out for 800 meters. Um, the capsule is slowing down further and further. By the time that it uh, actually splashes down, it'll only be going about 16 miles per hour. It's fascinating to think that uh, just minutes ago, really, they were in outer space. Meters. Copy, 600 and are now just 600 meters above Earth. Again, we are targeting a 9.02 p.m. Eastern time, splashdown, 6.02 p.m. Pacific. So uh, that is the next major milestone for us today, now that we have four healthy main parachutes all deployed. Things continue to look good aboard Dragon. That's right, we're about a, a little less than a minute and a half away from uh, the crew splashing down. Copy, 400 meters. Once again, we are targeting a splashdown off the uh, coast of Florida uh, near Tampa. So this is uh, what we would consider a gulf landing. And those uh, strobes of light on your screen, those are spotlights coming from the recovery vessels as they continue to track Dragon Endurance. 200 meters, crew braced for splashdown. Copy, 200 and braced. Commander Nicole Mann giving out that call as we are standing by for a splashdown off the coast of Tampa, Florida. There we can see the water uh, surface. Dragon Endurance coming closer and closer. And as you just saw, splashdown of Crew 5. 157 days in space. SpaceX Dragon splashdown. Names have been released. Copy Dragon, we concur with splashdown and mains released. Dragon Endurance on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. As you can see on your screen, visual confirmation for Splashdown. Thank you, SpaceX. I was on one heck of a ride. We're happy to be home. Looking forward to next time. Dragon Endurance has returned home, and NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, JAXA astronaut Kuichi Wakata, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Anna Kikina are back on Earth after an approximately 19-hour return journey from space. The SpaceX recovery ship and team has been waiting for Dragon splashdown, and now, as you can see, they're making their way to that splashdown location. Right, and these teams have been ready and been waiting about three nautical miles away, so it'll take them around 30 minutes to make their way to Nicole, Josh, Koichi, and Anna inside Dragon. We will be uh, listening for Mission Control Hawthorne to give the go for the safe approach now that we have splashdown. There are several different roles. Uh, there is an approach.